Hi team. I'm going to do a follow up video on my lovely old pair of uh, trail shoes that I mentioned in a video recently because I've gone out and bought myself a lovely shiny new pair as a replacement. And one biggest thing I noticed was the levels of grip between these goods, these soles. Now you can clearly see that there's wear on this one, but the biggest difference is that this has gone quite hard and solid because plastic and rubber age over time. These are beautifully and grippy and you can even kind of stick your nail into this lovely kind of soft rubbery plastic. So I wanted to show you the difference and show you a little test of how you can work out how much grip you've got on your uh, shoes with the different sort of uh, floors that you might be on. So this is a lovely shiny tiled slippy floor and if I just, this is full weight on both feet, I'm not lightening my feet at all, I can get these shoes to, to sort of go in and out. So if I was sprinting for example on this, um, this surface and wanted to come to a sudden stop, I might have a little bit of a slide. Now compare these to my lovely new shoes and we shall see what the difference is. I'm not going to do it with laces because you don't want a video of me doing laces. Um, so, same test. Now I'm really trying <laughs> to get these shoes to move. And they're not going to at all, are they? So that is the difference. The difference between newer and older shoes in terms of the, the wear and the fact that the plastic will harden and become less soft and supple and grippy over time also just a new pair of shoes that has got that decent depth of tread on the bottom and not as much of a wear pattern. So a nice way to test out uh, new shoes, compare them with old shoes, but also if you're on a new surface, maybe it's icy, you know, maybe uh, you know, it's muddy, just and you're not feeling particularly confident in your, your shoes or the terrain that you're on, just stop um, both weight through both feet just standing normally try and rotate those feet in and out a little bit and that'll give you some great feedback on what the grip levels really are like hope that's helpful